Hello, welcome to Exotic Gardening UK, Yorkshire Chris Weekly. And on this week's video, I'm going to show you how mild a winter it's been. Don't believe me? Well, take a look at these plants. So here's my Phoenix Canariensis palm, or the Canary Island Date palm, totally unaffected by the very mild winter we've had. As you can see, it's all green all over. The oldest leaves are still nice and green. It's not been damaged at all. If we go into the center, you can see all the new leaves on furling now. As we move into spring, I'll just go into center there, you can see lots of lovely, lovely green growth. Beautiful example of a Canary Island date palm, feather palm, and it's come for a winter. No problem at all. Here we have the aloe striatula. And that's been unaffected by the winter as well and in a couple of months it'll actually be flowering you can see the nice green leaves no damage on them whatsoever and just below that we've got the nice green leaves of a small tetrapanax again unaffected by the very mild winter beautiful plants and do as well in my location here we have some wonderful pitcher plants you can see all those pictures the Saracenas, and these have come through the very mild winter as well. To look very exotic, and some more here. Yes, there's some old pictures that are dying off, but generally the foliage is looking good, and it's getting back into spring growth. This beautiful Erispatha palm, or Butia Erispatha, nice green leaves, no spotting, looking very healthy and got through winter totally fine. Here we have another wonderful plant. This is Scheffler, Scheffler Taiwaniana. And it's got these very nice umbrella-like leaves, very exotic looking and totally unfazed by any weather that was thrown at it. Although as we've seen by the other plants, it must have been a very mild winter. Agave Americana, nice blue leaves, big succulent plant. This is doing well in the garden. It's been so mild in fact, even the summer bedding from last summer has not stopped flowering all winter. And as you can see, it's still flowering the following spring. Here's another example to show you how mild it's been this winter. We've got a nice cacti that's been out all winter and it's got no damage whatsoever. And this isn't the only one, there's several in the garden without a blemish on them at all. It's been so mild, even the chocolate vine is in bloom already and it's kept its foliage over winter and it's become an evergreen climbing plant. Beautiful scent on these flowers and later on in the year we'll have the unusual bluish purple sausage-like fruit. And here's my Cycas Revoluta, not in the perfect condition because it didn't get enough water last summer when it was flushing but as you can see it's got no damage to the leaves whatsoever and they're still in good condition and a fairly decent green color although really there should be a deeper green that is because of suffering through the drought last summer here's one of my favorite palms this is Brea Amata which hasn't been protected at all over winter and even on this pretty cloudy, dull day, the shiny, well, the very nice whitish, bluish leaves look stunning. And in the sun, they really shine through. And this hasn't been damaged whatsoever, because as I've been saying, it's been a mild winter. And if we go into the center, got nice new spears opening up there into nice early growth as we approach the end of March. A really stunning palm for the garden. So let's look at a few succulent plants now that have been outside all winter with no protection whatsoever. We've got some Aeoniums, we've got Aeonium Blushing Beauty. The slugs have had a good go at this but the leaves are still green and it's grown away nicely in this little pot. And that's not the only one. We do have some more so we've got another Another one here that's been out all winter and totally unfazed by the 
weather we've had. We've also got another different type of Aeonium here, if we can get that in focus, there we go, in a little pot. And that's been in really soggy compost, waterlogged conditions, it's been in a tray of water for months and that's come through looking totally fine. And it's not just Aeoniums, we have got Echeveria's as well, like this one here, which hasn't got any cold damage because it's been so mild, as I keep saying. Just got a little bit of slug damage on some of the leaves. And here we have Dixonia Antarctica's, got quite a few in this part of the garden. And as you can see, they've kept their wonderful, long, lush green fronds all winter, as it's been so mild, nice evergreen, tree fern for the garden. Wonderful plants and the new leaves will be unfurling very soon indeed. Thank you for watching this edition of Exotic Garden UK. Now unusually we're not going to say join me next time while we're doing more in the garden. Instead I want you to click and watch this video to explain the opposite side and the true cost of the cold weather we've actually had this winter and this will show you that a lot of plants have indeed died because it's been a cold winter.